style is something that is important in terms of identity. If you just sound the same, have the big booming voice, and really don't say anything, uh, I, I don't think you're going to be memorable. You're now tuned into Bars and Hoops Radio. Where the world of hip-hop and sports live. Sunday 46, I'll be locked in. Listen to the slot in. The only young professionals that's top 10. I'm Jordan with the mic. It's different when I write. Why I'm taking your advice if you've been pipping all your life? Right? Don't let them judge you by the hype. They gonna say you came up short if you don't never reach the height. Huh. Now you looking funny in a light. The Kwame Brown stain if I'm right. Magic when I rhyme, there's plenty by design The game start making sense when I see Penny dropping dimes I'm Bronny in his prime, and that's a very long time The Walk of Fame stars going to line Uh, Nick fan, I ain't come from no hope He said my future was stuck until he dunked on a ghost See, I pen what they quote, wanna replace him but they can't Holy these drawings in my head, I'm Ann Mason to the paint Compete in the Olympics. They are known as the Green Green Team. Back to live action. Shout out to DJ JOJ for that mini mix. Telling you, Jay, man. Got a bright future ahead of you, man. Where's the mother, man? Where's the mother, man? Why you say that, man? I mean, you always come through in the clutch, man. I tell you. And man. I'm everywhere, man. Yeah, King Cash already man. know, man. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm everywhere. Yeah, yeah. He surprised me. He said, yeah, I'm the videos with King Cash, man. I said, do tell, nigga. Do tell. Man. I ain't know, nigga. J-O-J outside. Where's the mother, man? J. Word up, man. Word up. Word up. Word up. But uh, without any further ado, man, we got our special invited guest, man. It's a family affair, man. You know what I'm saying? Her love always did. Yes, Word up, man. We got King Cash in the building representing Northside. Yes, right sir. Now. For sure, man. Yes, sir. Word, man. So first and foremost, man, before we get into the interview, man, we want to thank you for even pulling up today, man, to chop it up with us. You know All what I'm right. saying? With your busy schedule. I know that you out there. I, I had to, man. Lot. Let's go. I thought the Ben had came through. But Word, the mother, kid. Right for real. right now. Yes, sir. Know. Perfect so. timing. Word up, man. So for the family in the building, who may not be familiar with you, seeing you around the way, and the people out there that's listening to us live on the radio and, and watching us live on YouTube and Instagram and, and Facebook, tell everybody who King Cash is and where he's from. What's good? What's good? This is King Cash, Northside Representative, SAQ192. Let's go. St. Albans, Queens, man. St. Albans. I lived a lot of places, but that's where I'm from. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go. Uh, for those that have been following for a long time, I used to have a different stage name. My name used to be Sergeant Wolf. Sergeant Wolf. So for those that that have been searching for me, <laughs> I'm King Cash now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, real quick, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go into uh, why why the name change. Let's go talk about um, it. The name change because before I was Sergeant Wolf, so I, I took a lot of things on my back that was heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like I took the whole I, t I brought the whole hood with me. When I first started really coming outside doing music, hey, we gonna talk I was about doing that. uh Northside compilations. Here we go. So and it wasn't even just about out. me dropping mixtapes or what it was the whole it was it was a bunch of people around, you know from Queens to Brooklyn and Harlem. I'm out of town. I had if you was unsigned, we're gonna get on this mixtape, we're gonna get these DJs to say your name and say and 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 get a little shine. That's what it was all about. And I was doing that for free. Ooh. I was coming out of my pocket. Doing that for free, dropping mixtapes, getting the graphics mm. done, and everything, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So I, that that's what made me like a sergeant. You know what I'm saying? Because the sergeant <laughs> is the dude that always <laughs> making sure everything is correct. You know, he's no. putting in work, he's running around. We got Yo. the DVDs. You know, it was a DVD era. We was all over the place. Things got a little calm down from having to be like so forward. Yeah. And then in 2014, um, my my best friend, my brother. My right hand, my left hand, Crown Boys, he passed away. Rest in peace to Crown Boys. And it was crazy because the whole time I'm I'm outside with you know with the whole mm -hmm. everything, yeah. it was always Sergeant War, Crown Boys, Crown Boys, Sergeant War. Facts. Niggas even call us war crimes. That's a fact. So it was hard for me to keep continuing to do what I know I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And it's just like Sergeant War, even though he right here with me right now, mm -hmm. uh 
I had to change the name to something that was more like you know, um, like I did this, I, I did all this. Yeah, I never knew and, that. And and, and I, I fought my battle, and now I get my crown. So my label is called Fast Cash Addicts Inc. I have my own music label, and okay. why not be King Cash? I'm king of Fast Cash Addicts. That's okay. a fact. And that was my next question. Explain what the Fast Cash Addicts movement is all about, and who are and who's on the label, other than yourself i'm pretty sure yeah uh yeah. definitely right now I'm, I'm just i'm i'm pushing myself that's what you know it what is saying? that's what it is um, Let's drop a bomb for that. and that's the understand get the understanding of what i'm of what i'm getting to understand of the business and everything dealing with artists because i'm i'm playing as the manager and the artist so sometimes i'm having talks with myself and shit like that <laughs> you know but it's all like prep because soon <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna have these artists you know what i'm saying I, I i need to know how to deal with them you know what i'm saying no question so like uh even even down to the to the format of, of putting music online and, and make sure you get every piece of set of streaming or whatever yeah, whether you're on radio internet radio or whatever as long as they collecting you know scans and all that that's a and fact you got your, and you got your, your your codes on your on your that's music you're going you're going to get your points you know what i'm saying oh my god like even just now like i was getting my uh my new music together come put some some new music out this year definitely king cash is dropping some new music let's go time. And um, I was I was getting everything ready with the with the you know the the, the sound scan and the, the BDS and and all, everything changed in April. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know because I last my drop something was last year, February last. It last changed February. that fast. And in April it changed. So now now it's like it's not um it's not um it's not sound scan no more. It's um it's luminate. Really? So you have the the same thing you was uploading your music to sound scan, and and media based. Media base change too. It's, it's like a whole different look wow. of it. Wow! So all that I, I, it took me like a whole day because I was doing mash at the same time. I'm yeah, like, wait, yeah. let me just fall back and yeah. go through my emails and shit that I already did. Like, oh, that's that that. Oh, this whole shit changed. So that that little shit is important when you you know trying to collect your streams through whatever streaming platform or whatever distributing company you go through online. Nah, I respect that. Even respect even that. even like with you know. We, we do a radio show called Chop Shop TV. Yeah, we gonna, we hold on, hold on, we, 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 we don't get into that. We don't get into that. The, even with the the audio on that. Like, yes, I, I, that's that's running through streaming. It's supposed, you know and we are gonna have a talk offline because that. I mean, we 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 certify, we license, but we need to talk more offline about that. And I'm glad right. you brought that up, right? For real, because I want to make sure everybody that come up here when we play their stuff, it's counted because that counted, matters. Right. That counts because people won't come up here. If it's not counted, you know what I mean? They're going to be like, well, what am I coming up here for? You know what right, I mean? Exactly. Especially if they're looking at it as, oh, well, what? Well, bars and what? All right. And okay. shit like that. That's that's why when, you know, when cause Jay, this is Jay idea with the Chop Shop shit. Yeah, no. Nah, Jay, Jay came and hollered at me like, yo, this is some shit. You know what I'm saying? I know you do your shit, but at the same time, it's, 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 it's it's information, interviews yeah. and all that, but it's, yeah. it's really dealing with a lot of music. And at the same time, like I was saying, I was doing a lot of shit with the, the mixtapes and the DVDs and all Facts. that shit. And I already knew from back in the when up growing up that Jay was that Jay was DJing. Yeah, yo, I did so, not know that shit, kid. Just that energy, that that, that, that music energy kind of like what brought us to even do the show together. Because wow. you know, I was just coming in the shop, getting shape ups, whatever shit. Yeah, like that. No that's Jay from the my, that's my big bro, shit like yeah. that. Jay would line me up whenever well, L.O. wasn't there. Came. Rest in peace to L.O., you know what I'm saying? When I used to come yeah, yeah. shape up, Jay would line me up yeah. from time to time, and then I'd go about my business, but I didn't know the DJ aspect. Yeah, when the opportunity came, we just jumped on the board. So. Wow. wow. So a lot of shit, doing shit, working with Jay, he already knew the boards and all this shit because he was DJing. So wow. he knew the boards. I knew the audio, so it was like, Wow, yang and yang, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, that's, that's, that's my brother. I, I tell him that all the time. He know what it is. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So when we got when we linked up, bro, it was like this is like natural shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't even forced. Nah, that's what it is. That's how it all. It's, it, it always works out best that way. You know what I mean? Natural feeling. You know what I mean? Nothing forced. For real. Yeah, okay. I just fucking my head up with all that, man. Word, yeah, man. bro. We got some shit. We got some shit. Nah, man. Word, Jay. I appreciate the check in, man. But definitely want to. I need to get you in here to do a joint it's exclusive with you, of course. Cash coming back, man. And we're going to definitely yeah. chop it up and talk about your story, too, because I didn't know a lot of that stuff, man. And I, I would love to hear the story in full detail with you in person, man, for real. 
Oh yeah, no doubt. Shout out, shout out to my nigga Oz, man. You see Oz on the check. Oh yeah, you man. see Oz? That's, that's my brother right there, man. Me and Oz made a fam. I love you. Know, I love that whole family, man. Yeah. Shout out to all of them, Word man. You know, you know what it is, yes, man. Yes, indeed, man. Me and Oz made that motherfucking pound cake remix, boy. I, he heard me cooking. Was like, yo, still send me that. Send it to him. Yeah. He sent it right yeah. back. Word the mother. And I don't even rap like that, but I get inspired from time to time. Yeah. That's a word fact. The mother, yeah. Word the mother. Get, people hear and be like, yo, that's you. Yeah, it's me, right? Yeah, but that's right. Right, that's right. <laughs> 19, 1990. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yo, that's yo, but Jay, man, yo, we going to get back to, to interviewing yeah, Chop yeah, uh, King Cass, man. Come up there, man. Yes, that's indeed. King Cass, I'm going to hide you later on, bro. All right, Jay. I right, love y'all, man. Right, Keep right. doing what y'all doing. Keep the hustle up, man. Yes, yes sir. sir. What up, baby? Later. Shout out to Chop Shop Jay. Where's the mother? Oh, I ain't know that, kid. Yeah, that just yeah, blew my whole mind. Right. I ain't know Jay did the A lot of shit Jay put me, like, just us through the years, just learning Jay. A yeah. lot of shit I didn't know either. I'm like, yo, like the stories he got, like, yeah, this nigga was in there. I told him, and this nigga, I told yo, this nigga. I did and I'm not like, oh, okay. Know that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that, man. But, but. Word. Like I said, like who inspired you to want to start rapping, kid? Like to want to start rapping? Yes. Um, I'm gonna keep it hundred. Y'all, y'all probably expect me to say, like some superstar. My brother. Shout out to Tory G, man. My brother <laughs> Maddox. My brother uh was rapping ever since I could remember. You know what I'm saying he, was, he yeah. had like a he had like a group. They would always come into my, my grandma's basement. You know, yeah. they stayed in yes. the basement and they be putting their shit together. And I'm right there just listening, and it's crazy because. Let me tell you who his group was. Let's go. Um, <laughs> one of his group, like one of his first groups. Let's go. Was my nigga Ike. Shout out, out to Ike. Ike, man, you out there. Word on up. Shout so out to it Ike. Was, it, was, it was my brother. It was Ike. It was consequence. You know what I'm saying? Word it was just like that. So they used to be in the crib from when I was like six, seven years old, writing rounds. They used to write rounds. I used to go to school, go on the playground, and get busy. Like, oh shit, this is nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you still lay rounds on. I mean, they wrote them for me. Like, oh word. Oh, word. Oh, word. Damn. It was, it was crazy. Like, well. My brother used to write both of my shit. Yo, go get the thing. fuck out of here. Cons wrote a little verse for me one time when I was a kid. Um, Ike wrote a little. You know, I would go get to school. The fuck out I was I was like the kid in the school like that was getting dropped off from all of the the, the D boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting dropped off in limousines and uh, uh, couple Audis and shit. Daylight. And all, you know, nigga word, me word, up, word up. Shout out to Daylight. Word up. Word. Shout out to Susie. Shout out to the whole family. The whole word fam, man. Pudge was good, bro. Word. Yo, so it was it was it was different. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Wow. So, That's what it is. That makes sense, though. It makes sense, man. For yeah, real. So yeah. so. But all the but stuff other other, other than that, um, not not just that as a, as as going on with just music, um, uh, other people influenced influenced me. You know, I was I was a big fan back in the days of LL Cool J. Yeah, and, yep. Shout out to L. You know, um, um, what's my name? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of cats from the hood that I, I could think because you know I was I was a special ed kid all day. <laughs> you know, uh, Ralph McDaniel. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for Ralph McDaniel to play <laughs> special ed. <laughs> 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 I, got so, I, I was real young into music, yeah. and then I moved to Atlanta. So I moved to Atlanta. I was like eleven or whatever. Oh, that I did. And I was I was um into music or whatever still, yeah. whatever. And I met up with a couple of kids that was from my neighborhood. One kid was from Alabama. One kid was from the Bronx. We had a little oh. rap group, so we would put our little songs together. We would go to the talent shows, win the talent show. Shout out to my man Mike Walker, Charles Poussin. You know what I'm saying? Still to this day, we we. Connected. And I'm from kids till now. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Now we just linked sense. up the other day when I was in Atlanta. Well, oh, man. that's so why I got a little bit of influence from the down south culture of music from way before. Because I really started putting the pen to the pad. That's when I was living down there. So we would be, oh. you know, having the tape player. You know the, the whole old school shit with the tape player recording yeah, ourselves, yeah, and we'd be yeah. writing and shit. And my man Mike would not let us go home until we had verses. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So the whole writing shit, I started doing that when I was living in Atlanta as a young kid. You know what I'm saying? That but then it was a time in my life where I left music alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to be outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for a long time, I was outside, running around. You know, basically, when I moved back to New York, I moved back to New York yeah, like yeah, 14, 15, yeah. I seen a different type of, I seen a different light. I was like, music is cool, but. This nigga got a band. This nigga got a band. That nigga 17. I'm like 14. I three, one, two, three more years. I got a band. You know what I'm saying? So I knew what time it was. But, you know, when you get involved in the street, you got to make sure that you're going to be ready to take on with the street. That's Come a with. fact. That's so, a whole So, you know, some 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 cats, they, 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 they get it through straight, arrow, no nothing, bullshit. 
I was going through all the bullshit, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the drama, yeah. the, the, wow. the, the, the cases, the back and forth, you know, the wow. bullshit. So a lot of my time dealing with the streets, I, my money was spent on lawyers and bills. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of gave that up, up after a while, too. Like, that don't make no sense. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Now that you got you back into the music. Now that you say all this, now I understand because your style is different from the average nigga that grew up on Linden 192. Because I'm like, yo, where did that influence come from? But now that you say it, you was putting right. pen to pad down south. Right. So you took a lot of that on. Right. Because, like, you know, oh. I, I, I was liking music, underground music <coughs> from 8 Ball, MJG, to, oh. you know, UGK, you know, because my guys was putting me onto that shit. Like, yo, this is the shit. Before it got big, it was underground. Oh. Like how we had Big Ten before a nigga get big 50, 50 cents, boo boo, and then he's cursed. Oh, and then he's 50 <laughs> cents, you know what I'm saying? But he had the big tape, one, three, four, all stars, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So it was just like that. So I'm listening to the underground shit, like, oh, these niggas is hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would make sense. But at the same time, that shit is seeping into me of how I'm creating shit. Like, oh, okay, I like this little bounce, like it. I yeah. just mixed a little New York swag with it. Yeah. And now I got something totally going on different. So now through the through the through the times of from then till now mm-hmm. doing music, putting music out from the mixtape era, from D V D era to stream era, a lot of a lot of cats picked up on that sound and, and, and created their own sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's cool. You know, that man. makes me feel proud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yeah, man. Word. Word. Yeah, yeah, facts. 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 Yeah, Word. Definitely. Now it makes sense. I'm like, yo, war swag is, I mean I am used to calling him war, but his swag is different. From you know most guys that grew up in that neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, how did that happen? Now that you say that, it makes sense to me now. You know what yeah, I mean? Definitely. For real, man. So we talked about the North Side compilations, why you put it together. What's your thoughts on the current state of music today? And do you believe that drill rap is the reason for a lot of the violence in the music? Um, far as with how I feel about the current state of music right uh-huh, now. Uh-huh. I think that music is in a very good place right now. Okay. As far as like, like for the artist being able to own his own. Yes. And knowing how to conduct business. Yeah. You can make some nice money. Yeah. You don't got to be the biggest artist and Facts. perform at the Super Bowl Facts. to make real money with this music. You, know mm-hmm. I mean? you just mm-hmm. have to have your business correct and everything being collected back to that account. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Have yes. your ass cap right. Have your streaming, publishing. Like, your publishing, everything got to be right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know, sign yourself first. Mm-hmm. You know, because nobody wants to do nothing with nobody that's not doing nothing. You know? That's a fact. So yeah, you again, put them in the back. You know, nobody wants to do nothing. It's, Say it again. it's the same shit. Like from the from, from the old school, you know, you sell a million mixtapes out your trunk. Here come the labels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same thing with the streaming. You get the buzz streaming, and here comes these labels. But now we in a different world where it's like. So what? This label got a million dollars. So does I get that off streaming. That's a fact. So y'all got to come, because I'm just trying to sell my masters. So y'all got to come mm. with some bread. But in order for y'all to come with some bread, I got to make my masters make sense. I got to put that work in, put that advertisement in, and, 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 and all that shit together so that my shit is like this. Mm. All over. Mm. Collect it, collect it, collect it. And that's when they come in. Like, oh, we need you here. All that stuff. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm. So basically, that's that's what that's all about. Like, in a nutshell. Got you. Got you. So you never felt pressure from your brother making music to make music, correct? Nah, because yeah. mm, like my oldest, like Tori. Yeah, yeah because Tori. that's that's a different era of music that I highly respect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, 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 all of my brother's music from when I was growing up to now, the, the shit that he was making, I, I love this music. Yeah. Because I didn't hear my brother be on the songs with too short. I don't heard my brother Facts. be on a song with Shaq. I don't heard my brother Talk be on a song it. with a couple of cats that, if I say their name, you probably won't know. But at that time, they was like some underground was cats coming out. Yeah. So that that definitely why I say he was a big influence because I've just seen my brother do moves. And mm-hmm. regardless of what we was going through, I know we was going through because that's my family. No he question. was still doing his music. Thing, you know what I'm saying? So, so y'all are some talented guys, man. You, you know what I mean? Chad, your brother. Yeah, all my brothers Yo, make beats. Except, that's except what I'm me. Saying. I don't know that, why. And that's that's was so crazy. So y'all got this, y'all got that hustler spirit, right? Yeah, definitely. Now, touch on a little bit about your family background as far as the impact that they had in New York City. 
Oh, we could definitely do that. Talk about and that. And that's that's probably a, a reason why I got this this go hard thing going Let's on. Let's go, because a lot of people out there don't know, and I kind of want them to know the stamp that y'all put your family has on New York City. Definitely. definitely. So tell everybody about that. My grandfather's name was L.B. Griffin. Yes. Right? He was the first black man to have a construction company in Queens, New York. And it's Black History Month, so we oh, got to talk about go. that. So at the same time, he's kind of like also the reason why a lot of minorities today are able to get these these these, these contracts. positions, these contracts and yes. all that stuff. I mean, not just black people. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So um, he, he did a lot of big things. I mean, he dug a, the, the, the rock that's on 109 and Farmers. Yes. My grandfather... Put that rock there. Damn. Like, where did that come from? from that, 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 that came from, uh, I don't want to be wrong. It came from Brooklyn. I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> where exactly. But okay. I do know when that rock landed right there, my father, it, that, that rock been painted many times. But my father was the first people, him and his team, to paint that block, that, that, that rock. Red, black, and green. Red, black, and green. You know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. And um, not too long ago, about two, two summers ago, right, right during the pandemic, my cousin, Mark Griffin, yes, made sure that you know got, we got the plaque redone. Yes, I see that through the years. You know, it's been there for like thirty years. Yes, so yes. We got the plaque redone and make sure all that is is uh engraved in there. Who LB Griffin is and what he did right here. Word up. And it's not just about putting a rock somewhere because in order for Long Island for the Long Island Railroad to come into Jamaica, let's go. My 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 family made that possible. Talk you know about it. We built them tracks. We dug them holes for those tracks to get built. Talk you know about it. We were excavators. My family's es big excavators. You know, your college excavated that. Uh, wow. Roy Wilkins, the whole Roy Wilkins. Oh, I didn't know that. Excavated that, dug that hole for that football field to be there. Everybody you got it. who was a Raider, you got to thank my grandfather for, for, for making that park there. You know what I'm saying? For being part of that. Oh. that and a lot of my family works inside of Roy Wilkins. You know what I'm saying? Like still I today. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, sure. that I didn't know. I know yeah. about the Long Island Railroad and Jamaica, that whole downtown. They call it downtown Jamaica. Yeah, now. I know y'all had a lot Jamaica. to do with that. And, and shout out to Nas because they shined a the light oh, on yeah, that in the Prime Team to documentary. To Word. To to, you know, yeah, it, talk about it. If, if, for those who are watching the, the Prime Team documentary on, on HBO, mm -hmm. they did mention something of, of, a, of a historical time that my grandfather had to put some work in. And I'm going to tell you about that. So there was a guy who was doing extra work because he liked to work extra. Yeah. You know, as they was building that that same Long Island Railroad yeah. uh, track to come into the Jamaica. Um, he was just doing extra work on a Saturday. So they he wasn't supposed to be doing the work on a Saturday. Yeah. So here come, the, here come the police, you know, fucking with him. <laughs> yeah. uh, the guy yeah. just happened to be my father. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So what happened? My father, he don't like the He don't care about yeah, He don't care about public. Yeah. He fight them niggas all day. Yeah. So back in them days, definitely... That, that was a different kind of story. Like a nigga who fights the police in the seventies, like yeah. that <laughs> crazy. You know what so, um, whatever he had a, a squall with them, whether they end up locking them up and then, they, but they hit him. The one old, I ain't gonna say. No, we already know. A, a certain number of precinct yeah. locked them up over there, right? Yeah. So he's supposed to be in that precinct, right? When everybody goes for him, he's not there. Wow. So now they like we don't know where he's at. We, he's he wasn't he didn't get locked up here. What are you talking about? So now like my grandpa was like, oh, they trying to play me dumb. Like they got my oldest son. Wow. Locked up and, and only reason why we know because there's witnesses that seen what happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my grandfather, he got all these these activists together and shit, right? Not only yeah. the activists, that's why you see pre he got the niggas from the streets too. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. the activists in the streets together, all these black people, we gonna they're going to block up the whole Liberty Avenue oh, so that these crackers can't come open these stores. Shit. I don't mean to say it like that. So, the, so the, the folks could open these stores and and, and have us come work, work the business. We know what it is. Right? You know what I'm saying? We already know. And I, I, I don't mean that like like these these day, this, this day and age. That was then. Them uh, niggas that's a fact. Back, back then. Like, yeah, yeah, no I know some folks yeah, right now, man. Yeah, those are my folks. Go, I'm talking man. about. But um, so blocked off the whole Liberty Ave from like, Hempstead Turnpike Damn. all the way like not that not that not that far from wherever Libby oh from the rock from yes, 109 in the yes, rock all yes. the way down to the van wick Damn. Wow. couldn't come you couldn't yeah. you serious? Yeah, they couldn't yeah they couldn't yeah. Oh, and shit. it was not budging until my pops popped up the wow. next thing you know he popped up at another precinct on the other side of wow. town you know what I'm saying? roughed up but he popped up 
And I'm glad he popped them because I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they would have had their weight. You know what I mean? Salute. And you know what, what happens back in those yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, 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 black cats. And, it was, and, and a lot of those riots happened back then because, if I believe, police had killed a young man back then. Mike, am I wrong? It was a 10-year-old kid that was murdered by the police back then. And that's what kind of sparked that whole riot. Yeah, yeah, to even happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Word. For real, man. Wow, that's big, man. For definitely. real. But but besides that, um, yeah, that's 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 part of the, the family history. Nah, that's what and they, is. you know, they was big out in uh, Roosevelt, New York, and stuff stuff like that. So nah, that's what it my is. Grandf- I mean, my my uncle, my grandfather's last son. His name is Groovy Lou. For those that know, <laughs> Groovy that's Chief Lou. Groovy Lou from the Chosen Tribe with uh, Grandmaster Vic and all that. You know, wow. from, from, from Nate, and all that. so. That's who my family is, whatever. You know what I'm saying? No question. No question. Shout out to man. Uncle, you know what I mean, I told you it was gonna be a good one, man. People gonna learn today, man. I'm professionals. We you always got up right now. You always got to be up right now, cash. Right, man. You may not nah, know, sure. man. It's but just when we bring it's somebody regular. through this door, they mean something. You know what I mean? But anyhow, man. Um, let's switch to. I always laugh about this, man. Y'all, you know, every New Year's, I always talk like, "Yo, man, I gotta get better. I'm gonna leave this poison alone. I'm gonna stop eating this garbage." Talk about this whole switch that you made, okay? Because I'm inspired by that too. And you be focused and you be on it. Like more than other people, like to cooking down to chefing up certain meals. And I'm like, damn, can you put a lot of work into that, man? And you did your research. Yeah, definitely. That's that's what comes first. Bro. Talk about it, man, if you don't mind. No, nah, I don't mind. Um I had like a little we all have sit- yeah, going all on situations. Our life. But I had a I had a situation in my life I had uh I had got diagnosed with uh, multiple sclerosis, right? Oh, shit. So at first, you know, I didn't take it serious. This was like 2013, 14 or something like that. I didn't yeah. take it serious. I'm yeah. like, I don't have that shit. What, are you talk- what is multiple sclerosis? What is that? Mm-hmm. Every time I ever seen it, it was like, you just see somebody in a wheelchair or some crazy shit that you see on TV I mean, or whatever. Shit, I don't even, I'm be honest, I'm going to be ignorant. I really don't even know the full extent of it. I heard yeah. of it, but I don't know what it is, but I'll let you. Yeah, finish. multiple sclerosis is a, is a nerve disease. That can uh, affect your 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 muscles and your your ability to walk and talk and stuff like oh, that. Oh, Ghostface brother has that. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So when they when they told me that, when the doctor said, "Yo, you get you know this that, and the third, I automatically first I was like, "Whatever." Then I automatically started looking online, like, "What's the cure?" No cure. But, uh, I don't believe that shit. Wow. So I just didn't pay attention to it. Then, like I said, my brother passed away. Crime. He passed away from health. You know, wow. he he uh he had a tumor exploded in his stomach oh, and shit like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Um then I started getting really focused with with health, like, oh shit. Cause bro was like 30. You yeah, know what he I'm was saying? young. He was definitely young. young. So I'm he like, wait young. up. All right. So I tapped in a little bit at first. I changed the way I eat. I stopped eating red meat. I thought that was I thought that was it. So now the the sickness is starting to kick in. So I'm like, wait up. I just stopped eating red meat. Yeah. But at the same time, I started taking their medicines and shit like that. Oh, right? okay. So okay. then this, this sickness starts to kick in. I'm I'm like, I'm, I'm getting tired all the time, shit like that. This was like, this was like from 2014 when they, when they said I got diagnosed to about 2017 when they started fucking with me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would get, at the same time, I, I had just opened a business. I had opened a studio on Jamaica Avenue. Yeah, shout right. out, shout out to um Ted Drops too, man. Where where um so it was affecting all that shit. So now I opened the business and I got this illness that I don't I don't even know about. So you know when you open the business, I open a, 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 a an event hall. Yes. So I'm like yes. working. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm like yes. up all night, this that, and the third, really just just grinding, grinding, like drilling myself into the ground, right? Yeah. Um, but not knowing that's 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 that's, that's making the shit worse. No sleeping, mm. not eating properly. Because you're breaking your immune system down. E- eating at one in the morning, three in the morning, shit like that. Yeah. My hours is all crazy. So now by the end of end of that time, by the end of 2017, I said, okay, well maybe let me just let me just eat fish. So I, I was a pescatarian, right? For a long <laughs> yeah. time, I was a pescatarian from 2017 till when I changed my diet yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. next time. So then as I'm doing that, I got sicker, bro. I'm in the hospital like the whole 2000, beginning of 2018, I'm in the hospital. All right. So now after that, it was cool. 
The summer was cool. I, I was, you know, I was good, whatever. Yeah. So 2000, was it 2018? Yeah, 2018 or 19. 2019. One of those years. I, I think before it was 18. The pandemic. Right before the pandemic. So that was 19. That's when I was in the hospital every day. From like wow. February. You went from no red meat to, no, to just. Till fish. September. I'm in the hospital wow. like every month for like a week or some shit. Like relapsing off of MS. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And just trying to figure this shit out. Now, I heard about this guy before, this Dr. Savy guy. Shut you know, up. I heard about, but I never really Word. did the research on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I met his wife, man. Some, his real wife, my eye. Uh, oh, my eyes. Yeah, man. definitely. I'll you know be, uh, be ordering from off the site oh, yeah, and all that. It's yeah. some beautiful people. Because I had um, um, heart problems and I went to her. She helped me out. But Oh, that, yeah, nah, yeah. That shit is real. Yeah. So, uh, as I'm in the hospital for, I said, let me just tap in. I start going on YouTube and I'm like, looking at all all the shit that he's teaching. And I'm like, looking at other other testimonies of, you know, people that he, he helped reverse their sickness or whatever. Because it's like, yeah. you know, there's, there's really no cure for nothing, but you can reverse things. See, a cure comes with medication that mm. that, do, that doctors create, you know, that scientists create. That's a cure yeah. for things. That's why they say we don't have no cure for this. We don't have an antidote. Yeah. So that's something they got to make. But naturally, you can reverse illnesses. Speak on you know it. I'm saying we'll this 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 eases. Yeah. So when I started <laughs> paying attention to Doctor <laughs> Sebi and, and and studying his his whole way of thinking, yeah, I said this is cool. Let, let me let me try this. But let me let me. I'm a Capricorn, mm -hmm. so Capricorns is like you know <laughs> they'll be like yeah whatever. Yeah. But let me let me make sure. So yeah, I had to, I, I kind of had the G yeah. check. Yeah. I kind of had the G check saving. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> let me go and do some studying that I never did before. So I started studying, and Google was like, Google was like, not telling me the truth. So I'm like, all right, what's another search engine? So I started searching on Yahoo search, and I said this shit is bullshit. So I started searching on Yandex search engine. So Yandex is like is like out of the country. It's like I didn't even know about that. So I'm searching yeah, Yandex, boy. and Yandex is popping up shit about food. Like, yeah, this this was really come from here, and it's a hybrid, and this that. So everything he's saying is like okay, it's matching this. Wow. Because at Google, I can't I can't really believe Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Yandex is like <laughs> it's not corrupted yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything uh -huh. gets corrupted. So it's matching what he's saying though about yeah. uh about you know o o alkaline. Foods. You know, um, alkaline foods, eating alkaline. uh broccoli and and spinach and yeah, all that yeah. shit. And all that shit is really hurting you. Really, even even, even to the drinking water, the certain waters we drink. Alkaline water, yeah. Alkaline water of what we think is alkaline water because yeah. they added minerals and electrolytes to it. That's oh. not alkaline water. Oh, no that's a chemical. I'm about to talk. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's 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 a chemical. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so what you're really looking for is natural spring water because natural spring water is automatically alkaline. Yeah, that's because you're going over a, a pH balance of of, of seven. Yeah, anything yeah. over the pH balance of seven is alkaline. You know what I'm saying? Boy. People don't understand that. So now. I had a big thing when I, that when I first started talking my shit. I was going on social media talking my shit about water. And <laughs> people was coming at me like, "Wait, I drink this water. What are you talking about? Yeah, because that shit costs six dollars. You want to drink it? Right. But this, I know this one water that costs a dollar for a whole gallon, and that shit is the most healthiest water in all of them shit. So we could do a water test, and I was showing water tests and all kind of shit. Not just me. Uh -huh. I was showing people that did a water test and how it all coming back to the same thing, like spring water, you know, essential water and. You know, uh, all these waters being like, like, um, um, as ascetic. They coming yeah, back yeah, yellow so on the test and orange yeah, on the yeah, test. God. And the simple regular waters like, 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 like Crystal Grace and not even just simple because even Fiji and, 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 um, uh, a couple other waters. Yeah, I can't yeah, think yeah, like, yeah. Those, those are alkaline waters. You know See, they got the Fiji right there. I can't think of it. I'm just, I'm just promoting too much <laughs> for free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> word. Um, yeah. But yeah, even down to the, the way we drink water, like water can harm you if you're not drinking water. Right water but if you're drinking some kind of water, like a pollen spring or something, it won't hurt you because pollen spring has nothing in it. It doesn't do nothing. That's your spring water. And then my man is like a manager at the water comp uh, factory in Jersey. And he's like, bro, only thing different about these waters is the label. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm like this. And we be paying <laughs> top dollar for some water. So I'm like, all right, that was different right there. So that's one of the things I started learning about. Food, water, and then it, then it's, 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 it's the mind state. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like blocking blocking out a lot of bullshit, taking a lot of bullshit out out of my out of my life that I don't need. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. um, 
at the same time, like I said, I, I, I was in a business. I started a business. Yes, indeed. Not started a business, but I've been started a business. I was I started a, a studio hall with some cats that already had a studio hall established. They just moved to a different location. That didn't work out. Left them niggas on their own to deal with whatever they had to deal with. <laughs> Luckily, the pandemic came around. Nobody had to pay no rent. So Ooh. they was, you know, they, they kind of won. But I won, too, because I'm like, all right. I lost a lot of money in that shit. And when I left that shit alone, I got all my I didn't get my money back. I just started seeing all the money I wasn't seeing before. That's you know what I'm saying? That's just doing my, my own business. I also have a printing and a graphics company. So, you know what I'm saying? Get into that. Instant printing. You know, we don't just do regular like 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 graphic flyers and stuff like that. That shit gonna be animated, it's gonna be like some green screen shit. You might have people talking on your flying cars driving all kinds. So it's different. So we do it like some real animated type shit. Like oh, we even shit. do animated cartoons and all that shit, yeah, videos. And all shit. And so it's shit. not just I, it's not just music. I'm I'm really uh, fashion too, too man. man. Fashion, don't yeah, about like that. Oh me, yeah, I thought, I thought Create You was the brains behind all that. Right? I'm gonna keep it hundred. Create You was the inspiration for all that. That's what's up. Word. Word. I learned a lot of shit from my younger brother. Word. Dealing with he's graphics an animal. And, heavy, and shit like every logo in here is your brother. Where's the mother? First bars and who's right? Yeah. Logo, the bars and who's radio yeah. logo. That's your brother. And I was about to remember when they all in the DMV. Yeah, you stamped you stamp them. You stamped them. You know what I mean? Word up. Word up, man. For real, man. So when I say I bring people in here, that means something. Yes, sir. Bring people that mean yes, something. Sir. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, sir. Word up, man. So, you know, like every other neighborhood, man, we always got issues with people, man, and that, that just be out there just doing extra stuff, man. And I know that. Era that we live in with this whole social media stuff, man, and people get addicted to clout and fame chasing, and sometimes we straight up lying, man. I captain. know, uh, yeah, you be captain, captain America. <laughs> you go, a lot captain. of a lot of people be captain America out here, you know what I mean? And um, I know me, 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 and um, King Cass spoke about it, man. I know he wanted to do a little G checking, man. So I said, man, you will always come up here, we could always talk. As family, man, and we could air out some stuff, man. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. You still feel that way? Or, 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 we, or, or up. Not? Are we up? We outside. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> we man. What's we going outside. on, man? We outside. We inside, but we outside. Yes, so, sir. What is it that, you know, was pressing for you, man, that, that you felt like you just needed to kind of address? Um, Like, all right. So, it's a little, it's a little uh, tension. Not really tension. It's a little. Attention. It's a little misunderstanding. Yeah, misunderstandings of what's of a certain thing that's going on right now yeah. between. Uh, I ain't really gonna say nah, between me say no and, name, you know, like. it's just uh something that was said during an interview that that I didn't. Me personally, I didn't agree with. Yeah. And, and 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 a lot of people did. And 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 you know the people that was being names who was being brought up in that interview. Yeah. They didn't agree with. That's a fact. those my folks. Like that's a fact. Those my big bros. Those my those are my big homies. That's a you know fact. What I'm saying? That's a fact. So, you know, um, the interview that I saw, because I'm a stand up guy. And the platform you know we bring in, and this is get some clarity to it so people can kind of understand the platform done paved the way for guys like Keith Murray to go up there and speak a bunch of stuff that's questionable to people. This is the platform that we're talking about. We ain't going to name no names, but somebody that we know was on that platform. Continue. Yeah, so. definitely. Um, and that person on that platform was mentioning people's names that they supposed to not have been mentioning. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And not because it's like, oh, if you mention these names, we ain't gonna come for you. It's just, it's just respect. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain people is is going through certain things, especially with like when you mentioning people that's, that that got cases. Yeah. You know, like my original team is a Northside gang. Talk about it. We don't never give up. You know what I'm saying, and it's always Northside Gang, no matter whatever other entities we create, you know, Northside Music Group and yeah. Fast Cash Addicts or yeah. whatever. It's always Northside Gang because that's that's before the music. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So when you mention in certain people names that you that you wasn't what they say now that you wasn't gang gang with, Facts. you can't do that. Facts. You can mention people's name that you you know you you probably grew up. Facts. Respecting, that's cool. You could say whatever you want that Facts. you was doing with them. Facts. Whatever. That's your block. You know what I'm saying? But when you mentioning these, 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 these guys right here, those are different kind of guys. Not saying like those guys are ill than the guys that you mentioning. Yeah. Much respect all 
through yeah. to, to the guy that was mentioning yeah. that's from that block. Now, when yeah. we're speaking of a block called 192 or for Linden Boulevard, SAQ 192, Facts. that block stamps the whole north side. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, back to what I was saying, <laughs> you could, like, 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 like my block. I'm from, I'm from, everybody know, I'm from the fifth block. You know what I'm saying? Hot, hot nine and, five. and the, the guy that's from my block, I can be like, yeah, I, I grew up outside watching yeah. Pudge yeah, and yeah, Daylight yeah, and yeah, this, yeah. Uh, and then yeah. plus my block was like, the hangout block. It was like Facts. it was like a, 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 a gas station and it had a little stoop. They used to call it the couch. You know what I'm Facts. saying? It had a little pay phone, whatever. Facts. But my block was never a hustle block. You know what I'm saying? It was the chill block. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could say, yo, I was out there, I was out there, but I wasn't outside with them. Like yeah. I was too young. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And for me to say, yo, I was outside with Budge and this thing, yeah. they're gonna be like, yo. He's crazy. Not 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 at that time. <laughs> not at that time. But later on in my life, I was yeah. outside with these guys. Yeah. I really was outside with these guys. Yeah. As I yeah. when I got older. Yeah. Like the same guys he even mentioned it. No question. Like, you know, the dude that, yeah. that mentioned these guys in his interview. Yeah. The yeah. same guys that he's mentioning. I was really outside with those. That's, That's really fact. my gang. That's like, a fact. Those is North Side gang. We got history. We you could go on YouTube yeah. and find us together. Facts. Doing Shit, uh, yeah. gambling and All rapping, and shit. you know, and my man Mike Stack spot back in you know Facts. the gambling spot. You really gotta get shout out to my guy yeah, Smack know. caught us back in the yeah. times when it was a DVD era. Yeah, the crazy freestyle. Yeah, from and Mike Stack's uh gambling spot. He don't got the Facts. spot no more, so I could say it. it was the craziest freestyle. It was very historical. People still bring it up today when Facts. they when they want to mention Northside game. Shout out to and Chew. them same guys that 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 this this. This cat has mentioned that he was outside with. He wasn't in the video with us. Facts. He wasn't in the video with us. There's a That's there's a, a picture. Cause at the same time, that was a gangster Lou movement. Facts. Shout out to my dude Chewy. Facts. 190 Lou. That time he was calling himself Gangster Lou. Facts. It was the Gangster Lou movement. Everything was that Gangsta was it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I wasn't even rap. Like, I wasn't even getting in the studio. Rapping. Like Lou used to force me, like, yo, come off the block, go in the studio. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, well, nah, chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm yeah. on a low. You know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. but um, yeah, it, and and it's a certain it's a certain mixtape cover that that circulates through the Facts. years. Yes, when we was in front of Grady's, yes. he's not in that picture with us. <laughs> nah, he wasn't he's not outside. there. No, nah, he wasn't outside. He wasn't outside. It, social media pictures of just hanging out in the club. But he's not in them pictures with us, <laughs> right? Yeah. So how was you outside with these guys? He's the pe the first people he named. He's in pictures with them. That's yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, his yeah, plot. Yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, took him under. You know the what I'm saying? But he but he wasn't he wasn't outside with them. Nah, I know. You know what I'm saying? We all know that. We so, all know so that. So for dude to be like, yo, I was outside with this guy and we was doing this and we was getting this. First of all, G check the time code. You weren't even you weren't in the street facts. doing nothing facts. at that age. Yeah, I'm younger young. than him. Yeah, so just young. like I said. When he was that age, he was in my basement. Facts. Writing rhymes. Facts. He wasn't outside. Not on the corner with those guys. That's a fact. When everybody got older. He got he got lucky, got fortunate. He was able to travel with his career. Facts. How could you be outside? Facts. If at 18, 17, you on the road with the guys, the main guys. The main guys. From the hood. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The guy that influenced a lot of the, the whole rap game. <laughs> The reason why he's even around certain people yeah. is because of those guys. Yeah. They wouldn't be around him if they didn't know he had a link to, to those guys. That's a fact. Shout That's out to Jay. He you know what I'm saying? getting a kick out of everything. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we had a long conversation about this Jay word the bubble. I'm just, no. I'm just, I'm just here to put the shit, I'm just here to put the shit together. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to really nah, get I crazy. Do, yeah, but you gotta do all that. I do got a new name for him. <laughs> I'm gonna say that name. <laughs> So yeah, because y'all already know who I'm Let's talking about. Go. Those people that don't even know me yeah. know who I'm talking about. Because you ever see this guy's comments? Yeah, it'd be crazy. But he wanted to get upset because somebody he knows goes on a comment and says, "All I said to him was you lying." Yeah. And this nigga is like, "Your mother is this, and your my mother. What you gonna do with this <laughs> shit, bro? The nigga violated my mom's. You don't go pay attention to your mom. Uh, what are you nah, doing? Nah, 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 I ain't know that. My mom. I'm, I'm gonna say like this. My my house is around the corner from a bus stop. Mm. My mother ain't rode the bus in twenty years. Facts. Twenty years. I see niggas' mother get off the bus yesterday. 
Sheesh. So That's if if, if the niggas is really up like that. And they really was on the block like that, and they yeah. was outside with everybody. I don't give a bucks. fuck if 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 I'm a if I'm a millionaire, I'm around these millionaires. My mom's ain't riding no buses, even if she want to. That's a fact. That's, That's not fact. happening. That's a whole. Fact. Ain't no gonna be nobody to say, "Well, this nigga was just with all these celebrities," but that's his mom just got off the Q4. Facts. And <laughs> you over here riding, <laughs> riding for all these other people. <laughs> But you ain't riding for your own people. But your moms ain't riding right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a fact. So, so I, I respect where he coming. So from that's with crazy. It. Like I, I respect you know. where he coming from with it. Word up, man. So, and I, I can't I, I can't let you leave here yeah. without asking you the question that I ask every artist that comes through here, right? So, if you had the opportunity to work with one artist and one producer, dead or alive. Or your dream project, who would it be and why? You know that's crazy because uh -huh. I know people expecting me to say like, nah, 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 we don't know. I done heard some crazy shit. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't know. But if you had the opportunity, one artist dead or alive, one producer dead or alive, to create your dream project, who would that be? Well, um, right now I, I go for the times. You go. So so right now, <laughs> you, go you know, I, I got I got a hundred million favorite artists. Let's you know what I'm go. Let's go. I'm not an artist that's like I only listen to me. Nah, that, that's why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How I'm going to get creative? You know what I'm saying? So I would like to work with the kid Don Tolliver. I don't know if y'all ever heard of Don nah, Tolliver. Yeah, Don, Don Tolliver. He just put me on the song. Don Tolliver is hot right yeah. now. That's, that's, really? He's hot. He's, Jay, you heard of him? He's coming yeah. up, up right now. You know really? Saying? Yeah. If y'all get a chance, check him Don out. Don Tolliver. I'm gonna definitely check him out. I think he's from Houston or something. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna check him out. Yeah. Don Tolliver. Definitely, I would definitely like to work with that. I played kid. him on Future Phenoms. Yeah. Times, if you can pay attention. Hey, when was this? <laughs> when if he was, was there, eleven o'clock. Uh, in, in, in the beginning. Right. In the beginning. Right. Don Tolliver. <laughs> now, what about the? He's a he's an artist or a producer. He's a he's an artist. All right. What about the production? Side? I'm gonna look him up though. On the production side, and I, I once again, I know you. I know I always say it, but y'all gonna be like, what? Because he's he's this. I would really. I really always wanted to work with with Havoc. Mm. That dude is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Problem. That nigga is like, er, yeah. problem. Problem. Yeah. Hold up, man. For real, man. Yo, man. I really enjoyed this interview, kid. Yeah. I know y'all got to We need lie. more time. He got to come back. Well, he definitely going to come back. Him <laughs> and Jay going to come back for sure, man. When Jay get the time, he said, what, 25th? Yeah, 25th. We'll be on Jay around that time because, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to be free around that time. So King Cash, where can everybody go to support your movement and what's next for you? I know you said you're working on a new project, man. You got a title, yes, sir. Date, all that. Give everybody all that information where they can go to follow you to support you. Right now, you can check out all my previous work on all streaming platforms, YouTube, everything. You type in King Cash or Fast Cash Addicts. And there's a couple other people who think that they that, that 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 that's their name, but I'm gonna pop up first because I'm doing more streams than them. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna know the guy with the cartoon face with the crown. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. that's me. Yeah. So you can catch me every every streaming platform. I, I can't even sit here and name them because it's every it's it's all of them. Like I, I'm like on like fifty of them shits. You know what I'm no saying? He um, got that paper. He know how to get that bread yeah. with that. You know what I mean? And he said um, that early. Yeah, look out for the project I'm dropping. It's called Long Live the King. It's not a it's not a mixtape, and it's not an album, but it's a project. It's not an EP. <laughs> it's not an LP. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm putting y'all on something new. It's a project. It's a playlist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I put my stuff out on these streaming platforms, it comes with a playlist because not only am I just uh, registering my music, I'm also a Spotify artist. I'm also an Apple Music artist, so I could go on the back end and create playlists. Like the same thing that these that that, that these players are trying to get in with these creators on Spotify and all yeah. that. Y'all trying to get these big players. All they doing is making themselves into a Spotify artist or an Apple artist. And y'all could do the same thing for, for cats that's coming up and trying to figure this out. Talk about it. You could do the same thing, create your own playlist and, and push those playlists out. So with this playlist, it's not like I'm dropping all my music at one time. It's going to be three to four songs coming out at one time on this playlist. The playlist has 10, 10 tracks on it. Yeah. So when the 10 tracks is filled up, they're going to be already loving the music anyway. 
videos come with them, all kind of shit. So y'all can look out for that. That's going to be on all streaming platforms. Plus, I have a website, FastCashAddicts.com. Let's go. Dot com, and yeah, that's where you can find everything. And tell about, don't forget Chop Shop TV, baby. Tell about oh, Chop, man. Chop, Chop Shop TV, too, TV. man. Chop Shop TV premieres March, the first week of March. We will have a set date for y'all in about next week. No but it's, it's 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 actually like um it's a it's a it's a it's a show. I know everybody's used to like everybody doing like uh podcasting and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it it is a podcast, but it's all pre recorded. Yes. So within that podcast of shows, interviews and stuff, we're gonna we're gonna have like skits and then other little playbacks that we use as commercials. You know what I'm saying? No question. So it's like it's like watching like Jimmy Kimball mixed with a living color Let's mixed go. with Howard Stern, because we do have a show on there called Erotic Nights. It gets crazy. Uh oh. So that's 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 just about that. Chop Shop TV. That that premieres the first week of March. We're gonna send out the links for everybody. To chop chop it up. Catch us. The website. Everything. Everything is being officially built. Everything is put, basically done. We just waiting for that release date to drop it because you know everything yeah. comes with a campaign. You got an eight week campaign and. Listen, man. Let me get it. You messed me up spot, today. Kid. You fucked yeah. me up nah, today. Nah, word of the mother, kid. I got to regress it. Word back. of the mother, kid. Nah, word up, man. Shout out to Ken Cash for pulling up today, man, and to chop it up with us, man. Appreciate y'all guys. Great interview. Word. You know what great I'm saying? Interview. Really great interview. Really informative. Hope you guys learned a lot about streaming, health, just him and his music in general, man. And hope you follow his movement, man. Check in with him. Tap in with him. We definitely going to have him back up here. With Chop Shop J, man. And we definitely want to get it in, man. And I hope everybody enjoyed this show. So, again, King Cash. Definitely. Yeah. Yo, can I say one thing before I go? Let's, let's go. Yo, let's go. Now, I, this, this, because you know. Let's go. I ain't biting my tongue. This this goes for a lot of people that. Let's go. Was calling me like, yo, yo, make sure, yo, what's going on? Yo, y'all got, y'all got to remember. I've been out. I've been outside. Let's like, go. this ain't nothing new. This ain't, you ain't nobody could nigga they been calling me to try to critique me. Don't try to critique me now. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Love so, that. you know, pay attention, watch, or if not, just mind your business. Cause I don't I'm got I, I'm not listening to nobody. <laughs> None like of y'all <laughs> are be able to you know yeah. can control it. So it's yeah. like, yo, say this, say that. Make sure you don't say this. I know what to do. Yes, indeed. Y'all niggas yeah. don't gotta call me, Listen, bro. <laughs> and he conducted I'm himself like a gentleman, <laughs> baby. You know yes, sir. Come on, cash, man. Y'all you niggas, niggas, y'all niggas ain't been calling, <laughs> so don't call me now. I'm on the phone every day with the guys. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm on J Pay every day with the guys. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was I was in Manhattan the other day. <laughs> Word of mother. Word of mother. Yo. Boy. I know what time it is. Yeah, I love it. Shout out to my brothers though. Free Bay Lloyd. Free Bay Lloyd. Free Bay Lloyd. Lloyd. Man. Free Renegade. Free Mel B. All right, yeah. Word. Jessica, you have one question. Jessica got one question out there in TV land. Yes, Jessica, you can ask the question. Does he know how much an artist makes every year their song is played? I don't know. I don't it know. Depends. Depends. depends on, on what? The on what, Jess? You got to be clear. If you're not, then I ask him offline, and I'll definitely get that to you, man. So on, the, on, on that the, note, Zafla had streams to on the radio. Or yeah, it had to be on the stream. It's probably streaming. Yeah, on title. On title. Yeah, that's like asking me how much does Future get on title <laughs> versus <laughs> Lil John down the block. You know what I'm saying? They both making two different money yeah. on yearly. That's a fact. You know, Future making enough money where he could probably sell his masters at the end of the year. That's a fact. And Lil Joey, he trying. He coming up. <laughs> so I can't really sit there and say how much they get. Yeah, you know, this I know how much I get. I know how much I make on title. <laughs> we gonna keep that personal. We gonna keep that personal. You know what I mean? Word up, man! Shout out to Word. King Cash again, man. Don't forget every Sunday, four to six, the unprofessionals featuring myself, Stills the Great, Mike Ray, Tip of the Gambler, Zai Flair, Zy aka Peter. Zelo Green, and my man DJ Jail Jail yes, One sir. the Twos, man. Mr. Steels also. Hey, man. Yes, sir. Well, next week, man, we're back on the check-in, man. Everybody enjoy their Super Bowl. Hope you win some money. Yeah. I'm trying to win some money. And I hope my guys get here by Go Eagles. 6.30, 7 o'clock, like they say they're going to do. So on that note, man, check in with us next week. Peace. Peace.